Hello, everyone. My name is Ye Tian. I'm a research fellow from the Melbourne Neuropsychiatry Center at the University of Melbourne. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming to our symposium. And I believe that after the previous three talks on brain age prediction, people um, have had a fairly good understanding of the principles of brain age prediction and also know how to interpret brain age gaps properly. So in the last lecture of our symposium, I would like to talk about some applications that um, of a brain age prediction in the broader field of aging research and to discuss something um, about the crosstalk between brain age and the body age. So as probably everybody knows that the biological aging of the human brain um, has become um, the focus of considerable research as shown in the in almost exponentially increased the number of publications associated with brain age. Indeed, so the brain age has become a very useful and an, an informative biomarker to understand the brain aging and the brain disorders. However, the brain is not the organ system that is, is not the only organ system that is affected, affected by aging. As stated in the geroscience hypothesis, aging is the result of deterioration across multiple organ systems and that this deterioration is the root cause of age related diseases. Indeed, um, the, the multi-system morbidity is quite common in older people. For example, when people get older, those people who were diagnosed with um, schizophrenia when they were young, they have approximately more than a twofold increased risk of developing heart disease and diabetes than the general population, while um, the cardiovascular disease is also a strong risk factor for dementia. Given that the organ systems were uh, are interconnected via while so circulatory nervous and lymphatic networks, it is likely that brain age would influence the agent of other organ systems, and similarly, other organ systems would perhaps influence the agent of the brain. So to understand the, the, the how, how the brain and the body system interact as people age, in this study, we adopted the brain age prediction framework to predict the biological age of the brain and also seven other organ systems including the immune, cardiovascular, hepatic, pulmonary, musculoskeletal, renal, and metabolic systems. So we use the rich biosample of a biomedical data from the UK Biobank. Uh, we included a subsample of UK Biobank participants with completed physiological assessment uh, for the body function, such as blood pressure, blood biochemistry, and the urine assays, as well as the multimodal imaging, including uh, the, the T1 uh, diffusion and function MRI of the brain. So we, uh, we first, um, based on the medical information, we defined uh, a group of health individuals and used a group of health individuals to train the age prediction model using cross-validation. As also mentioned in previous talks, so the difference between predicted age and chronological age is what we call age, um, age gap index and it can be used to quantify the extent to which an organ system, an organ system appear older and younger than the population norm. So once, um, so when, uh, once we train a model using uh, organ specific, specific phenotypes, for example, which uh, we use the brain phenotypes to, to, to predict brain age, and we use the pulmonary phenotypes to predict pulmonary age. And once we have the model ready, we apply the model to individuals with um, with different diseases to give a, um, to and then raise out a, a organ age gap for every individual and for every organ system, and then we map the multi organ aging profile in sixteen different brain and body diseases. We also studied the, the the association between genetic and and environment factors on the aging, and also um, and the association between and advanced brain and body age and mortality risk. Given that, again, this picture again, um, given that the organ systems are interconnected by the circulatory nervous and lymphatic networks, one of our hypotheses is that an organ's biologic age would influence the agent of other connected organ um, systems. So to test this hypothesis, we first used the structure equation modeling to model the directional influence uh, from body baseline body age to follow up brain age. And this is the finding, uh, which is a bit complicated. So here I just highlight some of the key findings 
which is, for example, we show that cardiovascular age demonstrates the, the strongest influence on brain age, where a one-year increase in cardiovascular age in explains a 27-day increase in the overall brain age. So similarly, increase um, in the uh, in the functional connectivity and the white matter age. We next again use the structure equation modeling and model the directional influence from baseline um, organ age to the longitudinal change and rate of change in the organ age. So positive influence would be consistent with fast aging. For example, this network shows that advanced pulmonary age leads to a fast aging of the cardiovascular system, which in turn leads to a fast aging of the, of the, of the muscular skeletal system and the renal system. It is um, also interesting to say that the cardiovascular, renal, metabolic, and muscular skeletal form a positive aging loop, which suggests the reinforced aging process uh, among those um, organ systems. Another thing to notice, perhaps especially for those who, those who are familiar with network neuroscience, is that the muscular skeletal, skeletal system is an in-degree hub in this aging network, where and so they suggest that. The, the Asian or muscular skeletal system could be affected by um, and can be a common result of Asian of other a few other organ systems. Similarly for the brain, what we find is that the advanced gray matter age leads to a fast Asian of the functional connectivity, but not the other way around. We also see a bi-directional influence between functional connectivity and the white matter age. Okay, now how about the disease profile? <coughs> so as I mentioned at the start, we started uh, the biologic aging profile in 16 different uh, common but um, chronic diseases, including those that show lifelong long contribution to brain associated illness burden, such as uh, depression, bipolar disorder, and, and schizophrenia and those diseases that um, contribute significantly to health burden in older adults. Um, I'm not going to um, name them out individually. So here's the list of the disease categories we studied. And here this figure shows the distribution of the estimated um, disease specific and organ specific age gaps. And distribution, they are colored by the, the mean age gap in each group. And um, while those um, mountain plots colored in gray, they just mean they have a mean that is not significantly different from zero. So what we find is that, um, so a general finding um, is that organ system that are primarily affected by the disease pathology generally show the largest age gap, so they appear the oldest. For example, we see that uh, the pulmonary system aged most in, in, in COPD, which is the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The renal system aged the most in chronic kidney disease. The hepatic system aged the most in, um, in sclerosis. And we also see the, 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 that the metabolic system aged the most in diabetes. However, this is not the whole story. We also see that many disease cat categories that are not um, typically involved in the disease pathology, they also show uh, advanced organ aging. For example, uh, here is just a simplified clock um, illustration of the main brain age gaps in each disease group. An arm of um, each arm of the clock points to the main age gap in each disease group of the uh, brain age. So as we can see that while um, the brain aged most in those major brain disorders, such as uh, mod multiple sclerosis, dementia, um, Parkinsonism, and those individuals with non-brain disorders, such as di um, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, chronic um, obstructive pulmonary disease, thrombosis, they also show significantly advanced brain age. Similarly, for the body system, while we say that um, those um, common body diseases such as the chronic kidney disease and cirrhosis, their body system age the most, but um, individuals with um, major brain disorders such as schizophrenia, dementia, stroke, and bipolar disorder, they also show significant advanced body aging. 
So as a brief summary, we show that um, chronic diseases are categorized by unique organ aging profiles, and that across the 16 common chronic diseases, um, advanced biologic aging extends from the organ or primary disease pathology to multiple organ systems. So this suggests that the aging effect is, is widespread, is, is wider or broader than the disease effect itself. And now um, I want to just to share some of the results in terms of the relationship between mortality risk and biologic aging. So to understand the um, relationship, we, we started with a simple between group comparison using mortality data um, a search and, and the 4th of March in, in, in 2021. So what we generally find is that um, the brain and the body age and also the uh, organ age, um, or the biologic age of individual organ system, they all appear a significant older in those deceased people compared to the non-deceased people. We further use Cox regression to estimate the, the mortality risk. So what we find that is even after controlling for the chronologic age, sex, existing disease burden, and also those um, common lifestyle factors such as smoking and deprivation, we still see um, uh, as we still see that body age, pulmonary age, immune, renal, and hepatic age they are the strong predictors of the mortality risk. For example, what this bar plot shows that is um, each one standard deviation, standard deviation increase in the body age uh, associates with uh, approximately 12% increased risk of mortality. However, this is not the case for, um, for brain age. We did not find significant association between advanced brain age and mortality risk. Um, however, so our finding is not consistent with the previous report, um, but this is not, um, this is perhaps very likely because of the relatively low mortality rate in our UK biobank dataset uh, in those people um, who have a brain age estimates because the, the, the brain imaging were only acquired recently and the way the mortality rate is relatively low. So this means that uh, to further understand the di discrepancy um, in the finding, we need to continue follow up the UK bank, bank participants. So we would now um, to validate the results between um, uh, of, of the relationship between brain age and mortality risk. And here we, we simply in, in the end, we, we say, okay, the broad body age can predict a significant mortality risk. So we simply developed um, a, a, a predictive model using logistic regression and tenfold cross validation. We want to see whether we can predict a person's um, a survival time and premature death. So yes, indeed, uh, we can predict those um, mortality quite accurately. And also I want to uh, not that while um, the model three was um, when we just use chronological age, sex, and existing burden can already explain some prediction accuracy, um, further incorporating body age gaps um, and improve the, the, the prediction. So this suggests some additional information or the unique contribution of a body agent and the mortality risk prediction. So here I just want to quickly show um, share our investigation into the environmental and lifestyle factors associated with brain and body age, which may have the potential to, to inform new strategies um, to limit um, body and, and, and brain aging to extend um, the, life, um, the healthy lifespan through um, changing of lifestyles, um, such as limiting the alcohol drinking and smoking um, and do um, more exercise, uh, pay more attention to, to, to the maternal nutrition and education. Also, um, those efforts and strategies that would require national inputs, such as reductions um, in the poverty and uh, social economic inequality to reduce um, the air pollution and also to increase the residential green space and, net, and natural environment coverage. So those strategies might be beneficial for, for the population to have a healthy um, life, how healthy I mean, aging life. So as a summary, so in, in the study way, uh, we 
um, way uh, applied the, the 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 brain prediction framework that in, so we, we use the brain age prediction framework and to enable a uh, how a body multi-organ characterization characterization and um, multi-organ characterization of the biological aging across multiple brain and body systems enabled um, and a concurrent investigation of the agent across different um, body systems so we then reveal a multi-organ network multi-organ aging network that shows that an organ's biologic age selectively and characteristically influenced agent of other organ systems and the way we show a multi-organ aging profile in chronic diseases where we find that, that the advanced biological agent extends from the organ or primary disease pathology to multiple organ systems. We also show that the biologic age, especially the body age, predicts um, mortality. So in a quick summary, what this work reveals is that we reveal the multi-system nature of human agent and its contribution to chronic disease and mortality. Finally, I would like to thank um, all the UK Biobank participants and thank the UK Biobank for providing such a useful resource. And would like to thank my supervisors, um, uh, Dr. Andrew Zalaski, Dr. Uh, Vanessa Cropley, and also my mentor collaborators and Professor Michael Brixbeer, and also other courses, including Andrea and Nicola for the contribution to this project. And thanks everyone for listening. I'm happy to take questions.